In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to do a replace edit. This will let you replace a sequence clip on your timeline with an alternative shot loaded up into the source monitor. It will maintain the position and duration of the timeline clip but replace the content for the new shot. Really simple, all you have to do is first of all load up a new clip into the source monitor That's by just double clicking on one of your master clips down here. I've already got one loaded. In the new clip all you need to do is add an in point to begin with. There's a tilt down here and I'm going to add an in point just before it by moving the playhead to the necessary frame and hitting I on my keyboard. Set. Now normally when you're adding clips to the timeline you'll be used to adding in and out points in the new uh, to tell Premiere which portion of the clip you want to use. When you're doing a replace edit you only need an in line because it's going to replace a clip on the timeline and it will know the duration of that clip as long as there is enough footage from the in point you set to the end of the new workout it will work out the out point itself based on the duration of the clip. What it's going to do is take the in point that you've set in the clip and use that as the start frame for the clip when it's added to the timeline. And as I say, it can work out the out frame because it knows how long the clip on the timeline is that you want. Okay, so you set your in point in your new clip. You then hold down your Alt key on a PC or Option key on a Mac. Same key effectively. Keep that key held down. Drag the new clip down onto the timeline over the clip that you would like to replace. On a Mac you'll see a green plus symbol appear, on highlight, the new, highlight the timeline clip. Let go of your mouse, let go of your Alt key. As you can see that's replaced our shot on the timeline here with the shot of the London Eye. If I show you the in frame of that shot on the timeline it's the same frame as the in marker in our clip. And if I play you it on the timeline you can see it's worked out the out point itself based on the duration of the clip it was replacing on. Drag the new clip. So if I just undo that very quickly, and just to recap, you load your new clip up, you set an in point in it to tell it where to start the new clip, hold your alt or option you want to replace directly onto, directly onto the clip that you want to replace, let go of your mouse, let go of your alt key. Uh, the, only, the only other things just to be aware of here are you can only replace one clip for one clip. So if I just undo that again, and let's say I select these first, it will replace both of them, but it replaces them both separately from the in point forward. So there's the first clip, and if I play you the second clip, you see it starts again with the same in point. So I can't replace those tips. To do that, I have to do use another method. To do that, I have to use another method called three point. If I just undo that once more. The other thing to mention is that when you do a replace edit, it automatically always replaces the video and the audio of the clip on the timeline. Even if I disable my patch controls, which would normally affect whether it edited video or audio separately, let's say I turn off the audio, it always replaces the audio as well. The audio as well. The only way on the audio of the timeline to unlink the video and the audio of the sequence clip by selecting it, right click, unlink so and then replace the video or the audio of the clip on the timeline independent replace the video other than that this is definitely cutting a clip for a clip and it can also be applied to replace a say a piece of audio with another piece of audio or replace a piece of video with a graphic or a graphic with a graphic so it can be used with any media that